Coming up on iPads in the Classroom, rest and relaxation with your iPad. Hi, my name is Guy Training and this is iPads in the Classroom from TechEdge and today I want to talk about relaxing with iPads and that can apply to students when you want them to do something that relaxes them and doesn't necessarily create more agitation or more a uh, lack of focus or for ourselves sometimes we just want to do something that is not competitive and is just fun to do and I have three suggestions uh, the first one is called Zen Garden and Zen Garden is a fantastic app it's a 3d app so what you can see is that we have a space we can explore and it's just exploration there's no specific goal there's nothing that you have to do and there are no points which is one of the things that I love we've got a, a pond with some a koi in it and if you touch it they'll follow you and um, there's relaxing music that goes with it uh, which we're not playing for you right now but you can also have a Zen garden where you can create shapes just as a way to relax you can also go to different parts of that garden or you can exit and go to a different area altogether for example you can zoom out and see that this is actually in a fantastic uh, area where you can see uh, other things happening and again you can zoom back in and uh, look at the trees And again, it's very, uh, very relaxed, not competitive uh, in many ways. Um, an interesting take on spending some time with the device without having an extreme goal uh, attached to it. You can, for example, make the tree. You can, get, you can zoom in on the tree and make it bloom. And then make the leaves come down. So lots of interesting ways to, to do that and to play around. The second one that I have is called Zen Space. And in Zen Space, what you're doing is you can actually have different tools and different things you can add to your garden. And the tools are on one side and you can uh, erase. So let's reset. Yes, all will be lost and you've got blank space and then you can choose a specific tool and use that. Then you can add rocks, you can open the drawer and choose different rocks to use in your garden. And so you can spend some time creating without the pressure of uh, getting it right or getting points or anything like that. So this is a Zen garden, Zen space, I'm sorry. Uh, the last one is called Adult Coloring Book and I love this one because you can be very creative um, in a very quiet, very relaxed way. Uh, this is the free version, you can pay for more uh, paintings but you can see that you can use this to create different shapes and you color them uh, yourself so you can click on it and you can zoom in. I love the fact that you can zoom in, you choose the colors you want to use and then you start creating patterns or going completely random. It is completely up to you as to how you would like to go about it. And as you, as I zoom back out, you can see that this is what I've done. And I've played with quite a few of them and I find this very relaxing. I'm not sure everybody does. Uh, you can of course clear that and create new ones. You can save them as pictures as well. I don't see a reason to necessarily do that. That's one I created uh, just before the show as a way to look at what are the capacities uh, so this one is called adult uh, coloring and it's again an activity that doesn't have points, doesn't have levels, it's just something you do if you like it and if it sounds like a good relaxing time uh, for you.
So today we talked about some apps that can help in relaxing or just doing something that is fairly mindless but still creative. And I'll see you next time on iPads in the Classroom.